It's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at Ray's Indoor Mountain Bike Park, and we're here with Ray Petro himself, the founder. Thanks for taking time, Ray. My pleasure. You are in Cleveland. This is a rare visit for you because you have been in Milwaukee building your second park. Yes. How'd that all come about? Did you decide, oh, we just need to expand and get bigger? Yeah, well, one of my sponsors is from Wisconsin, and they said if you ever do another park, we'd love to have one up in our area. Okay. And that would be uh, Trek Bicycles. Sure. And um, we went up there to do a park, ran into a couple glitches, and ended up, I became a part of the Trek family, which I'm very happy. <laughs> That's a nice glitch to have, uh, huh? Yeah, it was the bankers, you know. It, yeah, the financing. So, yes. And they came in, they stepped in and said, hey, we can solve your financing problem. Yes. And we'd like you as part of the Trek family. What are their plans? You're going to open up a second park because Trek, they've got bikes that they sell all over the world, right? Yes, they're a global company. And um, Milwaukee is kind of like the litmus test of what other parks would be. And it's in a little different style building. It's in a newer structure, um, in a little more retail neighborhood than yep. industrial. And um, we like to think of Cleveland as the incubator. Right. Um, but um, um, how's it going? I mean, what's the what's the venue like there? You don't have the big uh, warehouse industrial space that you have no. here. It's like a large Home Depot space. Right. With like uh, a parking lot, like uh, you'd have at a Home Depot oh, okay. in a retail district sure um, but it was a little easier to build it was a little more friendly to design okay we didn't have all the large industrial framework and steel but you and had to work around basically yes. here yeah big open space yeah what's the square footage like compared to the one you got about 135,000 here in Cleveland yeah we're about 105 there really but the space is a little more efficient because it's not so chopped up as we are here right um, it really has worked out well um, I'm really happy to be um, kind of, I feel like I'm kind of like I'm not on my own anymore, and a, a larger um, little infrastructure behind you, yes. support. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. And you're allowed to do now because you've been focusing. When we first met, you were you were doing your carpentry. This was sort of in the evenings. It became a full time thing. But yeah. you really love putting the nails in the wood I love and designing. That. And you're being able to get back to that now, aren't you? Yes. So now I don't have to be the accountant and the finance department and every. <laughs> I can just build trails, and I have people that do that for me, and it's all good for the riders. Yeah. Because we can focus on. I get to focus on just the riders, and I spend more money on the parks, and I've got. It's going to take it to a whole new level, and it all started here in Cleveland. It so. did, and I can't wait to see where. Th this is a global company that literally. Yes. They're in Japan. They're in China. Yes. They're all over the world. Yes. You guys haven't really started talking about where you might go yet, but you must be excited about that. Yes. I mean, it, it's very flattering to know that I started something, and they think enough of it that they want to take the idea to another level and to other places. And um, we're not sure where those are. We're still working out a few bugs up in Milwaukee. And, right. But, I mean, you never know. So. You've done a great job with sponsorship overall. You've yeah. been fabulous with, with a lot of the other bike companies, yeah. suppliers, mm -hmm. ancillary products. Yeah. What's your secret there? How were you able to get these people all hooked into your buzz? A lot of them ride bikes. And they came in and they're like, um, they would ask me, like, you know, what does it take to sponsor? I didn't realize it, but I was probably well asking, well below what the asking price should be. Ah. So it made it easy. <laughs> but in a strange way, it actually became almost, um, it was a no-brainer to them. They're like, a thousand bucks? Well, yeah. no problem. No problem. A thousand dollars is a lot of wood to me. It's a lot of nails. <laughs> yeah. And it was an extra thousand dollars I didn't have. So I took what they were willing to give me and what they would give me on a continuing basis. And... Um, now it's a little different now we 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 have statistics for our exposure yeah and we get a little bit more than what we used to and sure. i don't run it anymore i've always been a nice guy and i'm like yeah whatever you can do is fine you're too nice so, yeah <laughs> so now we have a marketing person that knows right. the rules and it's more fair to us right and um, um what's your personal goals because you you must have achieved a lot of what you set out originally to do oh. which was to create a great space to so yeah. that you could ride in the winter yeah. and now it's growing it's growing yeah. Where's Ray at in all this? Are you, are you are you happy about all this? You lay down at the end of the night and, and be like thrilled to death with yes. where you're at? Yes, I am thrilled that I'm not, I feel like I've been asked in out of the rain and I don't have to worry about a lot of the normal 
business things. I just get to do what I love to do, which is actually soft wood, build ramps, build stunts, <laughs> right. and throw a nice party and be around bike people yeah. and ride my bike. It was never about the money. It no. was always about no. the love of bikes and bike people. Right. Understand you built a Moab room here because you have done so much in, in Moab. You, you would go there yourself to ride. I've been there a few times. Yeah. But I figured a lot of people don't get to go there. Yeah. yeah. And it's essentially built out of a lot of scrap. And um, we built it out of a lot of like 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 scraps of wood. Okay. And we made this funky kind of clunky thing, which is what Moab is kind of like that. Yes. It's kind of weird rock shapes and stuff. So... Um, it was just something else, something, something different, something to... Where else do you like to go riding? Because I know you have a personal passion. And Are you getting out to ride around? Uh... No, I've been around a lot. Yeah. I really like Ohio. Yeah. I like Michigan and I like Wisconsin. <laughs> I really okay. just, yeah, it's some of the best riding in the, in the, in the world. No kidding. Yes, yeah, it really That's is. Great. It really is. Well, it's even better around here now that you've built these parks and people can go riding year round. Well, we all want to thank you, Ray. You're you're a hero to us well, here well, locally. Well, Congratulations on your success. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks thank a lot, you. Ray. Thanks. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland. <laughs>